Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Eric Corum, founder of AIM7. Welcome back to The Blueprint, where we distill cutting-edge science, leadership, and life skills into simple tactics optimized for your busy lifestyle and goals. We've all been through trials. And frankly, you're either heading into one, you're in it, or you're heading out of one. And when you're in these trials, they can absorb every moment of your life, your thoughts, they can drain your energy, they can make you sick. Frankly, sometimes it can just be overwhelming. So how do you endure through a difficult situation when you don't know when it's going to come to an end? Well, it comes down to two things, the right kind of hope and facing the facts. With the right kind of hope, you can endure, but with the wrong kind of hope, you will end up in despair. I was recently reminded of the Stockdale paradox that comes from Jim Collins' research, The Good to Great Research. If you've never read the book, Good to Great, it's phenomenal. I think it came out like 25 years ago. I think I even read it when I was in high school. But there's some amazing principles in there that anybody can apply to their business or really to their life. Admiral Jim Stockdale was a Medal of Honor recipient. He was the highest ranking military officer that was a POW during the Vietnam War, and he was tortured repeatedly over his seven-year imprisonment in the Hanoi Hilton. Collins asked Admiral Stockdale how he dealt with being imprisoned, not knowing if he'd ever make it out. Now, just before we get to the answer, just think about that for a minute. You're being tortured and imprisoned, and there's really no end in sight. You don't know if you're going to die there. I can't even imagine the conditions. You're separated from your loved ones, the thoughts that have to be going through your head. If you really kind of put yourself in the position as much as you can of Admiral Stockdale, what he says is truly remarkable. He said that he never got depressed because he never wavered in his faith that not only would he get out, but that being in the camp would be the defining event of his life. And that in retrospect, he would not trade it. Meaning if he had the choice when it was over to go back, he wouldn't say, nope, I'm going to opt out of that. He would choose to do it again. Collins then asked Admiral Stockdale, well, who didn't make it? He said, easy, the optimist. Collins said to him, well, it looks like you sound optimistic. He said, no, I wasn't optimistic. I never wavered in my faith that I'd prevail in the end. So what's the difference? Optimists thought they'd be out by Christmas, but Christmas would come and go. Then they'd be out by Thanksgiving, and then Christmas would come and go again, and they would die of a broken heart. Then Stockdale said, when you are imprisoned by great difficulty, you must on one hand never lose the unwavering faith that you will find a way to prevail in the end while at the same time having the discipline to confront the most brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they might be. So Admiral Stockdale had hope, but he had the right kind of hope. And it was grounded in this fact that like what he was going through was going to make him better and it would define him as a person. But then he faced the brutal facts. I recently had a situation personally where I was going through something And a friend of mine was like, hey, look, let's just get real Sesame Street about this. Like, this is what is going on. Like, distilled all the mumbo jumbo down to let's face the brutal facts. That was not an easy pill to swallow. But I needed to swallow that pill and face the facts. And then once you're very clear on what's happening, then you can create a plan, contingency plans, and you can just keep running ahead. I don't know what you're going through. It could be a family relationship disease, financial hardship, but whatever's going on, you need to face the facts and never lose the faith and just keep taking the next step. I know this is like, this is the hardest stuff. This is what being a resilient human being is all about. And then I would add something to this, like personally, you need to be in community with other people. You need to find some people you can trust that can do the things like my friend did for me and said, hey, let's face the brutal facts. Without that, I think it's going to be really hard to thrive when life gets really, really difficult. And thriving sometimes is just taking the next step. 
It doesn't mean that you're just crushing life and that, you know, we don't have to walk around like everything's perfect all the time. And that's just, you know, we also need to walk around with a sour look on our face. There's this great hope and faith that we can have. And then finally, for me, you know, my spiritual life, my Christian faith is a really important part of this process for me. I'd say it's the most important thing. So whatever you're going through today, make sure that you have the right type of hope and that you're willing to face the facts. And if this message somehow impacted you and you know somebody that could really benefit from it, please share this podcast with them. You never know what kind of impact it may have in their life. Thanks again for listening, and I'll catch you on the next episode.